One mission, one goal. To seek out the paranormal and the existence of ghosts. Just thought I heard somebody say something. Oh, God, what was that? We feel they are watching, waiting, and reaching out. Felt horrible and weird, and I had to move. Something terrible happened in this room. To leave no stone unturned, and to show no fear in our quest for the truth that the dead speaks from beyond the grave. Join us tonight as we investigate Inverary Jail, Scotland. This house of correction since 1820 courted all the rigours and constraints of regular prison life. This included hard labour and walking the wheel. Incarceration for many was the end of the line. What sinister dark energy lurks inside these insipid walls and dark dank corridors of pain and suffering? Tick, tock, tick, tock. Prison clock. Okay, so we're at Inveray Jail. Um, second night. Second night, and we're going to be in for a good invest. I think what time is it? Nine o'clock now, and I think yeah, yeah, yeah. we're here till three. So apparently, we're going to go to the old part of the jail because there's the old part, there's the courthouse, the torture chamber and the new part of the jail. So, I've never been here before. Don't know where I'm going. Let's go on. It's cold, isn't it, Steve? Freezing. Absolutely freezing. I've got my hat on, look. Scarf and everything. Come on, let's do it. OK, so, uh, Tony and me, we're basically, it's a bit like climbing Mount Everest, isn't it? We're losing our breath a bit. I can actually feel a really heaviness on my chest. To me, it feels like... Yeah, you've gone up too high in a yeah. climate and you're getting a lack of oxygen. Yeah, I believe, I believe I'm the same, mate. So, I mean, just because... It's horrible, it's I'm having to take my breath in. I'm feeling a bit dizzy, OK? Um, but as you can see in here, what they've done is they've put an old cot, they've put um, a woman here, and that's where, obviously, she's going to sleep. What you've got to do is, as a medium, you've got to remove all of this from here and actually... What I do as a psychometrist, I you know, touch the walls, um, just absorb all the atmosphere. So what I'll do is I'll just see what I can get at the moment. Um, I'll just have the name Jane slip into my mind. OK, that's good. Let me so, see what I can get here. Um, interesting. So the red light's really off-putting for me. That's in here. It's got like a, like a red light in here. I'd rather have it in the dark. It's just, just sort of... Turn it to night vision, hang on. But what I do pick up here is a lot of children crying. Now, I'm not just sort of uh, hijacking the situation that I've just read the sign. I actually genuinely can pick up on um, some very sort of sobbing children in here. Um, uh, the name I've just got uh, that's just come to me is a guy called Oliver. Um, the, the surname is, it begins with W, it's something like Oliver. Walters, Oliver, Wheat, Wheatcroft. Um, there's a, a and, and I, funnily enough, I've just been um, told that he'd stolen some shoes. Um, Oliver had stolen some shoes. Um, he was basically a destitute child, and obviously in the olden days. Uh, if you were one of those unfortunate uh, children, um, it seemed to it seemed to be that you would, would fed into this workhouse prison uh, system as a way of hiding you in society. Okay, so what I'm what I'm actually picking up in here at the moment is uh, one person in particular in this cell, um, quite a violent guy. Um, funnily enough, I think, I think, you know, Tony, what you were saying in there, is his name's Jack. Is it? There's a Jack in here. Um, pretty violent character. Um, I think he's well known around the area for being um, 
just a bit of a wheeler dealer, a bit of a drunk, violent, um, everything bad in, in, a, in, a, in a man, if you like. Wife beater, he doesn't care, he hasn't got a job, he's a bit of an odd job man in here. But he's been put in here for drunken, disorderly behaviour. Uh, because he seems pretty pretty uh, calm at the moment, he's, he's just a bit of shouting, but I think he's just basically, you know, inebriated. Okay, uh, what, I'm, what I'm picking up in here, there is actually a person who has committed a murder in here, Tony. He's been incarcerated in here, um, either after his trial or waiting for a trial. Um, his name's John begins with B, something like John Boulder, John Blue, John. I mean, look at the size of this room. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It's what, eight foot by ten foot? Yeah, not even that, is it? Yeah, eight foot by ten foot. It's probably it's shocking. It's shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, he's in here. What's um, his name, John? John, John, but I've got the name John, B-O-U-L-D. Funny enough, Boulder. right, I had the B in the head, Did and you? I was like, I don't know what I'm trying to think, because yeah, I have no idea. Like it John, didn't make sense to me, so I didn't say it. So it's something like John Boulder or, or John Belling. Uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll do some research if we can do around here. But he's, he's actually committed a murder. Um, let me just see if we can find out why, um, what the situation is here. Um, <laughs> that's when you got diarrhea look. That's the face, isn't it? <laughs> to be fair, that's the face, isn't it? That, that looks like a stew. When he's just got up for work on a Monday morning. Yeah. Poor bloke. He's, it'll he be horrible, that, won't it? Silly. Yeah, this is a good one, this is. This is just like Little Dean Jail stew. Is it? Exactly the same. I like it. And I'll tell you what, but he had, he had memorabilia all over the walls <coughs> and skeletons hanging up like, you nice. know, real ones. Look, look, everything he had in his jail was real. You know, all the paper clippings from like 20 years back to the current day, all in frames. Current day, all in frames. Okay, so what I've just picked up here um, is... Um, a, um, a, a warden. It's like quite a big guy. Uh, he's the he's the prison warden, um, and he's just about to shut this door. Um, I've got the name Robert. Um, it's something like Robert Beckinsdale or something like that. Robert. Robert. He's, he's here. He's the, he's the big, big chief warden here. Comes up, big lad. So what else have we got? Okay. You know, you just Are you know, picking up women or no women? Just funny enough. I did, I did sense a woman in here. But let me just see where we're going with this. Okay. Let me come back to this because um, I want to make sure we've got this right because... What I does the letter sense, begin with? Huh? What does the letter begin with? The person in here, yeah. I thought A, A Annie. A, Annie. Yeah. Same with me. Yeah. I, I think, I think oh, it's, this is getting ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. The amount of times I'm thinking, yeah. let's, I ain't going to lie, because no. there's how many letters in the alphabet? Exactly. <coughs> I've got a feeling though that 20 and, I, and it's 20 to 1 chance how come I keep getting the same so I was thinking it's an A yeah. and I think it's Annie but I'm yeah. not going to say it because then it influences you yeah, but no, then no, it spoils it because it, yeah. if I say it and then you say it you can't win <coughs> can you? No. Okay, he's, he's a con man um, he's basically um, con he's con people out of uh, money, jewellery, property uh, he's in here. He's a bit of what, what I call a spiv, you know. Yeah. He's like um, dressed in sort of second-hand suits, but pretends to be like a moneyed, learned person. He's in here. How far does this go back? He's got an Italian ancestry. Uh, this is probably going back to. I wouldn't say that far, really. I'd say probably 
early 1800s. Yeah. I don't even know if the show was still going then, but I presume it was. Um, and he, he basically, um, yeah, he's basically a, a con man, a thief, a pickpocket. Um, and that's how he'd make his money. He'd con people in, in, in markets and pubs and he got caught. Um, funny enough, um, Charles, but like I say, he's got a foreign name and surname. Um, but he's got an Italian origin. I think it was his probably grandparents that were Italian, but uh, um, but anyway, we'll come back to this uh, one. Charles D, D something. Yeah, could be, could be. Charles D. V v yeah. I don't know. He, they, they got that for us, D. Yeah, it's, it's the Charles, name. Charles D. It's a foreign name. Working a good so tag team there, ain't we, with these? Uh, what? It's getting good with these weird. When you open your mind up to. Open your mind. Psychic stuff. I mean, yeah. I don't ever say I'm a psychic medium. Mm. I'm definitely getting better at you it. You are getting better at You're probably picking up a lot from me as well. Um, but this is the warmest prison I've ever been in. We are free. Yeah. So we are free. Could you tell me? The mic is there's a person in the middle. Can you tell me what is what is the person in the middle? What they call? Two, 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 two. There's a dark entity that's going to pass down there. Who have we got in here? Who's in here with us? Just do a quick yeah. Come on, what's your name? My name's Tony, this is Stu. Would you like to come and speak to us, please? Okay, we've got a Jacob in here. Jacob. 
You're not from Scotland, are you? Can you tell us where you're from or why you're in this prison? Okay, cool. so really creepy in here. Let's keep going down a bit. Right, well, come on then. Who's with us? Can you see us, but we can't see you? What's in there? Ooh, blimey, what's your step? Come on, is there somebody in this cell with us? Come and speak with us, please. George? Do we have a George in here? George, come and speak to us, please. Why are you in here? Yeah. Why are you in here? George, come and speak to us, please. Why are you in here? Did you hear when he said yeah. throw something down the stairs, standing like tick, 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 just like, so nice like a pebble? George? Oh, it sounds like a stone coming down. Is that your name? If it is, could you come and speak to this little box for me? Throw something down the stairs. Stop. Still me. Um, so that's not me. It's like what listen to this one. That's brilliant. Right, well, just going into the new parts of the jail. We went in earlier on and did a quick session, but we feel that that part is probably the most active we've been to up to now. So we're going to go back and see what we can find.
Does it? That was a Scottish accent. Listen to that. It's got a Scottish twang to that. Yes, yeah. sir. That's good. Huh? That's really good. Did the jailers treat you with respect? Or did the jailers give you a hard time and be nasty to you? Was you happy with the way you were treated inside this cell? Female. Yeah, this is a female I've got the name Angie or Angela. Angela, Angie, Angie. 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 Angie Bannon, the name is. Angie Bannon. Would you like to come towards me, please? Walk towards me and speak to us. Come on, we're loving this communication tonight. This is very, very good. What did you do, Angie? Was it petty fair? I got the. Um, I'm a bit dizzy. Yeah. I got. Um, she was basically a prostitute. That's why she's in here. Got a pain in my foot as well. A real weird yeah. pain in my foot. Angie? Although you're a prostitute, you, you weren't in here for prostitution. Um, I believe you were in here for theft. You stole one of your clients. Um, Watches, I think it was a watch, um, or some some gold chain from him, and um, that's why you're in here. Theft, isn't it, Angie? Okay, so Angie, you're in here, but you've not been sentenced yet, have you? What happened to you, Ed? Somebody's talking to me. Do me a favour, I've got an idea. Yeah. I want you to... Yeah. It's got put your, it, it? Yeah, freezing. Put your left hand on the wall. Yeah. Okay? Put your left hand flat on the wall. Yeah. Right? Okay, and then what I want you to do is I want you to try to connect with somebody who's in here and I want you to channel the information from the energy of the wall, yeah. okay, through your body mm -hmm. and I want you to, for it to come out on the recorder. So. Who are you picking up? Anybody at all? Just relax. I just, I just, as soon as you said that, I had the name Brendan. Okay, right. So, I don't, know if it's a don't matter, don't matter. Just say, 
Brennan. Are you here? Is it Miss Brennan? Brennan something. Walk through my body. Go. And bring your new voice onto this recorder. Brennan, is this right? These things, eh? Yeah. Ooh, you feel to kick it now. Torture chambers. Good grief. What people were just chucked in there? Yeah, oh, this is horrendous. This is horrendous. This is absolutely. Oh my god, the odds come up. Hey? This is horrific. Yeah, but I've gone all goose pimply as well. Not, not just through being cold. Just because of what's. Just because of. So you're in here to the elements? Yeah, mate, you. This oh is God. pretty evil, this is. Do you think? Yeah. Okay, so this is the whole idea of it. Open I top and sides. Break, break the person, isn't it? That would certainly break me if I was in there. Bloody hell. This is hideous in here. If you don't have the energy to speak, could you get one of the other spirits to come through? Or throw a stone. Let's go to the old, the old prison. Um, this is going to be good. Now let's try that stone one again here. Yeah. Okay, believe it or not, it's really warm in here now. Good. Should that, shut the door. That's hideous. Yeah, shut the door. So we're locked in, basically. Yeah. Literally locked in. Can we get out? Yeah, it's all right. I've left it. Is there anybody here like to speak with us? We're from England. Two men here from England. Would you like to come forward and uh, talk with me, please? Feels weird down this, too. No. Let me just sit and get a stone, stone thing going on here. Okay. If you're with us and can hear us and you're happy that we're here, would you throw a stone down the steps, please? Throw a stone. Hamish. Come on, Hamish, let me know you're with us. You're in here for fighting, aren't you? Bar brawl. Is that right?
Amish McLovin. Hey, Mish McLuggan. Are you here? Walking down your corridor. Come speak with us, please. This is freaky, you know, isn't it? Hey? This is one of the creepiest places I've been. It is creepy, isn't it? Just walk down these. Oh, there's an horrible bit here, Steve. Yeah. Right, there's too many here from England. We're basically locked in this place. Do you want to speak with us? Can you knock? Listen to this, can you copy this? Can you push one of us in the back? Open the door. Make a noise. Is that you? Yeah. Run towards us. Here we go. Well, we believe your body and spirit still left behind due to the traumatic circumstances of you being in this jail. Is that true? footsteps come on I've got a feeling that you, if, you, if you use all your energy you can push one of the gates one of the metal barred gates of the cell and you move it a little bit and make a noise no no definitely don't want to do that Bad news that is. Someone was telling me, get him there, get him there. Get him there. No, you there, me there. That's yeah, what no, was don't saying. fall for it. I told you, that's what they want. Mark said to me, they'll tell you to do that. Seriously? Yeah, he said, whatever you do, they'll try to split you up. Do you know, I was thinking of Bodmin Jail about a minute ago, and you just said the same mm. thing about splitting us up. And you just said the same thing. Well, it's not then. So, no, definitely not. Let me just take a picture. Come on, you surely be able to make some banging noises in here. Listen, can you do that? There's a horrendous dummy in here. Anyone in here want to speak to me, please? When you put that bloody light on, it's not so bad through night vision, but when you see it like that, oh, bloody hell. I'm the jailer in this place. Lights out. Time to go to sleep, please. Everybody go to sleep. Are you listening? You know what the uh, consequences are. You don't listen to us, you go in the outside. You go in the chamber outside, you must be lights out.
Lights out. Do you hear? Angie Brennan. Was she treated well in here? Come on, we've come a long way to communicate with you. We wish you no harm, no promises. We just need to prove that somehow the paranormal, what we call spirits and ghosts, exist. We'd like you to come and talk through this device and tell us it, it exists. Just speak your name, a date, or anything you can bring to us. Can you throw something towards us? Come on, we're coming down here, spirits. Now we're asking you of this jail. We need to hear one of the doors slam. There's living, living humans on this earth. If you've crossed over and you have nothing but frustration and energy left, do something major. Show us something absolutely brilliant, like one of the cell doors banging together. Wander down there again, Charlie. Do a quick wander down there, Charlie. Anybody wish to speak to us before we go? What's your story? What's your story in here? What happened? Okay. Was you unfortunate? This is where the bed was. Was you unfortunate? Was you... Was you put in here? Okay, so I picked up earlier that some people have been associated with the sea, a mariner. Um, are you shipwreckers? Okay? Are you any, is anybody incarcerated in here who was found guilty of shipwrecking, please? And if so, what was the ship's name? Can do, yeah. Let's see if the battery drains again. Yeah. So where are we going to stay? We're just going to go back up to the courts because uh, when we first tried it, although I connected with uh, um, uh, a woman uh, and a guy up there, uh, there was a poisoning case. Um, apart from that, I think it was a bit dead, so I thought we'd go and chill up. Well, we had an accident with the camera and broke it, but we managed to get it back together, haven't we? Yep. So, luckily... All this not ruined. Yeah, it nearly was. Nearly game over before we even started. It was, not So, um, we're going to go into the court again to see what we can do. Should we keep the lights on? No. How'd you turn them off?
Order in the court. Is there anyone here who'd like to communicate with us? Put your foot down. Can you drain the battery on our camera? Can you take all the power out of it like you did earlier on? And I believe you had a helping hand in making me drop it. Go on, knock, the, knock something. Can you hear us? Was you convicted murderer? Right, so who have we got then? Have we got a judge? Oh, we've got a defendant. Who's here, please? Speak again. Strong again. Do you want to move a bit further over? Come on, if you're speaking to us, surely you can make some sort of banging noise. Copy us. Come on, is it you? Put my hand out again then. Who's here? So why can you speak to us then? That was really good. Why can you never make any sort of communication back via copying us? I'm going to ask something out then. Can you, can you mimic us? Hello? Hello? Come on, we know you're in here, we can hear you speaking to us, but why can't you speak to us in our hearing range? Can you try again? What is your name? Is it Phil? Do you find the defendant guilty or not guilty? Name, crime, birthplace, sentence, what do you think to the judge? Was he fair or was he corrupt? Did they give you a fair trial? I think we should go in the cells now. Yeah, I'm checking it out. Pardon? Okay, I'm Nothing. Out. 
Right, let's do a walk out of them. Thank you for your time. As we're about to remove ourselves from this place, do you have anything to you have anything do you have anything do you have anything to tell us? I just heard something that into my ear. No way. It sounded like something hissing towards the side of my head. Oh. I don't know if it was you making a noise behind No, me. no, I wasn't doing nothing. You know when you hear something weird? Yeah. And it's like... Ah. That sounded like a breath. In. From the side. You didn't see that. Hey? It sounded weird, actually. That was, that was something you'd only hear yourself. Yeah. Aimed specifically at you. Yeah, we've just been in the uh, courtroom. Second time, really. We don't think we've got anything, but we shan't rule it out, because you never know. But it doesn't seem that active in there, does it? So we're going to just uh, spend the last half an hour now trying to trying to find another part of the jail where we can get some activity, so uh, we'll keep moving. We're back again. Anyone here want to speak with us? Who's the lady who used to bath the children and the women? Was she pleasant? Was she a nasty person? Do you regret your actions? Well, don't be scared of us, we're just here to communicate and ask you some questions from your time in the jail. Where do we come from? Okay, look, what I'd like you to do I'd like all the children who are here, I'd like you to bring all your energy down this corridor, please. I want to bring all your energy down towards me and Tony, please. Come on, children, all down here. We want to speak to you. Come down. How many spirits are with us here? So we've uh, we've come to the end of the night uh, here in the jail. Um, we we're looking forward to reviewing everything. There's been a few uh, you know active uh, parts of the jail. Um, I'm, I know we've got some fantastic e EVPs. Um, we'll have to review the footage. Um, so I would recommend everybody coming to see this. It's just an amazing historic monument anyway. Um, what went on here is horrific in a lot of ways. Um, hopefully we've learned um, in a modern era how not to treat people. But uh, very, very spooky place. As we leave behind the mausoleum of fear known as Inverary Jail, we reflect on the night's investigation and the feelings of how hellish it must have been for all incarcerated in here. The pain and the suffering was encapsulated for all time within these darkened walls. We believe we captured compelling evidence and hope to return soon to investigate further the activity that takes place here. We bade farewell. Until next time, it's lights out. Tick tock. Tick tock, the prison clock.